Our next game, Raiders at Chiefs. Chiefs minus 13 and a half. I, I'm not going to take them <laughs> to cover that. That's disgusting. Um, for the Raiders, my only question is Hunter Renfro actually viable. Uh, I think he makes a decent bye week fill in. If you're in a pinch there, you have Brian Edwards and Ruggs still banged up, missing time. I think Renfro could be for real. He's currently a uh, wide receiver 42 in uh half PPR had eight targets last week, nine targets the week before. I think he's still going to see the volume. I just don't know if I want to go up against that chiefs defense. I mean, I, other than that, you're starting Josh Jacobs and Darren Waller. And then for the chiefs, you got uh, Pat Mahomes out there kissing on Stefan Gilmore, uh, who just tested positive Uh-oh. for COVID. Who just tested positive Uh-oh. for COVID for the Patriots? Yeah, the 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 hot picture circling on the Twitter verse today is Stefan Gilmore and Pat Mahomes face to face chit chatting, like like face to face chit chatting after the football game on Monday night, and then uh, Gilmore tested positive for COVID two days later. So hopefully Mahomes doesn't come down with anything. Hopefully there's nothing incubating, and this game gets played, and the season doesn't go to hell. So, yeah, hopefully the only thing incubating for Patrick Mahomes is his little baby and his and his fiance. Um, oh, you saw that they're hopefully. pregnant. Look at you. Sorry. Side note, we'll we'll get back to it for, for the Raiders. Yes. Josh Jacobs, Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro didn't do anything until the end of the game. He he had like one catch for zero yards until I think like the third or fourth, like the end of the third, fourth quarter. Um, th- there was just not a whole lot going on there. I I would not be surprised to see him kind of fall back to earth because they don't have a whole lot of weapons besides Waller. They're going to keep lighting up Waller. Uh, Daniel Carlson, I mean, he's a fourth ring kicker. I just want to point that out. I'm I'm a big kicker guy. Um, and and obviously Josh Jacobs. We know what the Chiefs' offense is. Um, Clyde edwards alaire has not been as good as I think we thought he was going to be after the first week. Um, you know, against Houston, it looked like the Kansas City offense was just unstoppable. And trust, I mean, don't get me wrong, Edward Solaire has been very good, but he has not been like, like he's currently running back 13. I think we all thought he was going to be like a top eight guy coming out of week one, and he just hasn't been. Uh, he, he's gotten over 10 points every week in a, in a half PPR league, but, um, and he's getting the carries. He's had some catches every week besides week one. He's still really good. I think people are just hoping for more. You included. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but I guess the one excuse that I would give him is the four teams that he he's played through the first four weeks of the season are the Houston Texans, the uh, Los Angeles Chargers, the Baltimore Ravens, and the New England Patriots. Uh, the Ravens are in the top 10 fewest points given up or excuse me. Let's start with new England. New England is one, two, three, four, five, sixth fewest points given up to the running back position. Uh, the week before that he played Baltimore, who is seven, eighth, ninth fewest points given up to the running back position. The chargers are the 10th fewest points given up to the running back position. So, three top 10 defenses against running backs all in a row, three weeks in a row. I'm not really upset with his output in that time. 10 points, double digits every week with the 16 burger against Baltimore. The usage is there. He's catching five passes a week. Now Uh, week one, he absolutely lit up Houston. I think that you're going to see him absolutely light up Las Vegas this week. Um, It's, I mean, matchups, matchups matter. His playoff schedule is Miami, New Orleans, Atlanta. So I will take it and I just hope I make it to the playoffs and watch him run 35 times against Miami in week 14. So. Yeah, I'm I'm just saying it's slightly disappointing. I'm not totally disappointed. I would also say that the only touchdown he scored was week one when he had 19. And the fact that he's been over. Yeah, uh, ten points every week without any without any touchdowns. I think is an encouraging sign, and hopefully those touchdowns will come. Um, so maybe you know I know he's running back thirteen, but potentially he is a buy low candidate. 
just in case somebody is somewhat disappointed in what his current production that's is. That's fair. Um, and if if you can trade, you know, if if you could trade like a like a Nick Chubb uh, who's hurt, or even a Kareem Hunt, you know, who's been really good, and try to get Clyde edwards lair Um, I mean, try to go for it and and see what you know, or you know, a James Robinson or uh an Eckler or just just see you know it's worth totally floating out players that are hurt uh to, to try to get Clyde Edwards Alaire going forward um because as soon as he starts scoring touchdowns he will be a top five back he just hasn't yet yeah absolutely and even if you have to do two for ones to try and buy low on CEH I think that that's uh a good a yeah. good move to try to make because uh I think you'll have some frustrated owners right right now anyway 